first, uh, the internet had made the f fine watchmaking content mm -hmm. and knowledge mm -hmm. spread around the web. Mm -hmm. So where uh, before, uh, if you would have been speaking to 10 countries, it would have been fine. Now you have to speak to 50 or <laughs> 80 or 100 countries uh, because anybody from Ushuaia to Alaska uh, can have access to the information, to the knowledge. Uh, and the second aspect is that uh, the interaction, the direct communication, uh, and not only pushing information, has created, I would say, a complete new word in terms of uh, a new dimension uh, to the communication, communication world. So for me, that's the two elements. Word widespread and a new dimension uh, where you, don't not, you are not only spreading information, but you get feedback and you can elaborate on the community and the way these things are connecting themselves. Could be improved. Oh, it, it belongs to the exercise. Huh? I mean, sir, you in somehow um, the new dimension of communication means that you get feedback. Huh? So you cannot expect uh, in anything in life uh, all the time, every time, or only ultra positive feedbacks of anything. More than that, uh, many times the fact to have the opportunity to, to speak and to exchange uh, is a very interesting way uh, to create uh, new ideas or to challenge yourself uh, towards a, a new development. So, open is something we, I would say, we do consider as a duty at Jejeur Le Coultre. If you come to Jejeur Le Coultre, you will see the manufacturer, you can push any door, you can open, you can raise any question we don't have secrets to hide so uh, or we have fabrication or development secrets to hide but uh, for the rest uh, the things are very uh, clear and simple so in a way no that it belongs f for me it belongs to the exercise okay. for us it's that's almost more important uh, through the fact that the brand existing for so many years uh, have been realizing fantastic model fantastic watches that that we do uh, uh, repair in our workshops uh, when sometimes or fix uh, when there is, there is a necessity after 50 years, 70 years, 80 years, 90 years. So uh, for us, it's a kind of prolongation of the life of our product. Uh, and through these auctions, that's the opportunity as well for the community to get into the history of the brand. Uh, at we say perpetual invention in a way when we de de develop our history. and. Uh, a watch that have been existing eight years ago that comes to an auction, that's an opportunity for a member of the community of Jejeur Le Coul to, to, to buy this watch, to wear this watch, to have the pleasure to, uh, uh, to be part of the family through these heritage watches. So for us, that's um, on top of the value itself, that's very much a, a way to develop in depth the relationship uh, with the lovers of the brand. And maybe you had not the privilege to have somebody in your family that bought a Jejeur Le Coul 50 years, 60 years ago, and that's most of the times only through the auction that you can get through that. Particularly when that's a serious auction where you get a certificate of authenticity of your, of, uh, of your watch or of your clock. Uh, that's the best advice I can always give that when you buy these uh, watches in the auction, always look for the authenticity uh, certificate that makes sure that your watch is comprehensively authentic. So I mean, from the dial to the crown to the case, uh, to the ends themselves or to the woman. Uh, first, what I want to communicate uh, is that uh, what the watch is carry carrying through, uh, that the leadership in invention, uh, that Jejeur Le Coultre uh, has in its uh, DNA for 179 years. The brand has been the brand that has been uh, registering the highest number of patterns in fine watchmaking, that have been developing the highest number of movement. Uh, you speak for more than 400 patterns, you speak for more than 1,230 uh, uh, different movements. So uh, the Sphero Tourbillon is the latest uh, and probably most uh, uh, achieved example of the invention, technical invention at Jejeur Le Coultre. Uh, that's what we want to convey.